hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel in this video we are going to move on to the front end side or user side where we will implement these uh, things dynamically so we will have the menu options we will integrate that and then um, here we will have the uh, projects so we may select um, around three to four to six or eight projects around here and then uh, we will integrate the links for these dynamically and so let's just uh, jump into it I'm gonna open up the code editor I'm using the VS code I'm gonna close the, all the files that I have opened for the admin resource configuration for the filament so now let's let's look at the home page so I'm gonna go to the home route I'm gonna go to routes web.php and I'm gonna go to the index page around here I'm gonna open that up we are just uh, rendering the contents I'm gonna go to welcome and here we have the title descriptions and contents so now um, let's let's look at this so first thing first these things seems to be dynamic uh, we have to make um, this um, um, thing and the names and these things dynamic so let's just uh, do it uh, one way to do is to uh, is to transfer data from here to this component and another way is to define or um, create queries for this component like these variables right here uh, but I'm gonna go with this way and both of the ways like uh, are valid so you can use any of that um, sometime I'm use this I'm using uh, this um, way like creating queries around here like let's say uh, user equals to f slash backslash model slash user and then get the uh, get the user who is uh, like um, doing all these things we are, uh, we are storing these details in the user right if I go to user yes uh, yeah in the settings actually so uh, one way to do is, is to uh, create query around here in the blade file so let's say setting get the first one and now let's say setting we have all the details in this model and sometimes I'm using this because I don't have to go back to the controller in order to like uh, add some more variables or something like that but um, for clean coding um, this way it looks very good so I'm gonna do that um, this way let's say we are gonna sending we are gonna be sending a setting or let's say user because this has user details um, this is an array and getting the first one the setting can be imported like this so now we have the user details and now I can get the name so let's say Pink dollar user of name the same here and then uh, this is the if I go to the model setting model this is the title so I'm gonna grab that like this other user of title and then this is the username so dollar user of username and uh, do we have the this link points to the website so do we have variable for that hero gift let's redirect that to the that user github profile so dollar user of github and let's remove these and after that uh, we have the gift this one so I'm gonna make that dynamic as well or uh, we can do um, let's make it dynamic so that's it 
uh, directory user of what it, we call it this one hero gift but we will have to attach the storage to it as it's storage now if I refresh these things should be dynamic now so I'm going see it. code do and this is the link and uh, let's do one thing I'm gonna remove this and see if this works so I'm gonna refresh and now you can see it's gone so which mean we fast storage asset which acid with storage is gonna like work this is gonna be um, let's say we're gonna put the username here user of name then we have the socials so I'm gonna uh, make this dynamic as well by using the variables that we have so if I come here this is the LinkedIn URL I'm gonna fix that right here then now uh, we have the github URL then we have Instagram I'm gonna uh, bring that in Insta URL then after that hero gift that we have used it uh, after that we have projects so uh, for the let's refresh and see for the projects uh, uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab these projects from the um, model so I'm gonna go back to the general controller and duplicate this so project model let's call it uh, projects and let's uh, take the latest let's say six projects and uh, then we are going to loop through that and display them so I'm going to leave one of them and remove the rest so they have four I'm going to remove all of them then cut it and use for each loop through projects as project and show that so I'm gonna refresh let's see how many projects do we have stored in the database okay projects are undefined uh, let's see in the controller let's not keep it all okay so we have one project so let's make the things dynamic in, inside it so if I go to project model we have title image URL keywords and description so um, let's see these are the keywords so I'm gonna leave one of them and this is the uh, title so let's make that dynamic dollar project of title and then uh, we have a link right so I'm gonna use that right here uh, I guess oh uh, I guess one of them is like linked to the live uh, live project and then one is to the one link is to the github so for now we are gonna use uh, both of them we are gonna redirect to the github uh, what I'm doing I guess we have a github URL just URL both of them are going to be uh, pointing toward the github um, yeah yeah and then we have the keywords so for the keywords we are storing the, storing them in the, like comma separated so if I do another project of keywords and let's see so we are gonna like um, loop through them and show them but uh, we have using we are using the seeders so it looks like that let's do one thing so let's write a, a PHP code for that um, we can uh, do that directly as well but let's say the other keywords equals to explode separating them by comma and the variable is this one and then uh, looping through that so for each for each uh, keywords 
do this and as dollar keyword and then show that keyword right here well, let's format that and we have an issue around here we need to put not here keywords is okay this is for each now let's uh, format that no issue so far uh, saving that and after that uh, we have descriptions as well so let's pull the descriptions let's see I'm gonna refresh the page and uh, as we are we haven't made them like uh, let's do that actually let's make them uh, separated by comma the keywords until that we can look at these things so I'm gonna go to avatar the master app file layout app actually so here uh, we have the routes I guess let's see the things that we are not using let's remove them uh, let's make these dynamic uh, then we have the year I guess um, let's say from let's um, just uh, like display the current year so we can use the now method and format format only the complete year and here um, the authentic user username is going to be displayed and uh, I can like this is the app dot blade dot php file so i cannot like create query directly so what i'm going to do is um write a php let's say user equals to the same query as we uh, wrote right here first one like and get the first one but we have to pass the path to the model and semicolon now the dollar user we have an issue um, I guess this is something around here so this is gonna be the username so let's uh, do user of username then we have the if I go to the top uh, these are the LinkedIn so this is LinkedIn so I'm gonna um, call the LinkedIn LinkedIn URL let's copy and paste it this is the github github url then we have the instagram and then uh, let's call the routes instead of this and we can automate that i guess no not that one so let's just uh, do it for these two cut them put them in curly braces and call the route and let's uh, refresh I guess we have an error somewhere um, expected something let's now oh, here so this is the um, the name of the user so dollar use of name and I'm gonna refresh now um you can see I, I assume this is dynamic i'm gonna log into the application i guess the credentials was g, admin at gmail.com password is password and uh, till that let's um look at this okay we have an issue here so um parmet username there is no spaces and show spaces here confirm it user of name it's showing username okay so we have an error here and let's refresh still the same okay um we have to pass the backslash maybe um how about let's uh, do one thing let's put it in double quotes and then concatenate it with the, the username 
how about that okay so this looks good how about the top one this is still static so I'm gonna go ahead and make that one dynamic as well I'm going to go to a top and uh, this one has also be dynamic so now you can see that is dynamic and uh, we are calling the routes here that is fine um, then the LinkedIn URL is also now dynamic and if I scroll down uh, the date is also dynamic now we can put a dash maybe to make it go look good mm, let's see yeah that looks good so um, now these things looks good. let's uh, for the email uh, in the mail to um, around here if I go to uh, sitting I guess we should have an email you can see so I'm gonna put that uh, right here other user of email uh, and then this is the um, static why is it that this is the camera so this is actually the photos uh, do we have the photo I guess so we have the photo yeah uh, we have the photo models uh, route so I'm gonna call that right here format everything and refresh the page and yeah everything looks good so far so that is about on the home page and in the next video we are going to move on to the other pages and make them dynamic and pull it up from the um, database so thank you for watching and see you in the next video